Alright, just got done taking the car down to the front desk. Uh, I ate myself a real healthy meal here. We have one chicken margarita with balsamic. Mm. And then we have beef merlot. I don't know if that still makes them healthy, but that's what I ate tonight. I got my gum sitting out because a little bit of chicken liver got on the other pieces around there, and I'm not sure, so they're sitting out. And then we've got my fishing license right here hanging out because a whole bunch of chicken liver juice got on it. Disgusting. Um, so I just got done at the Ohio River and realized that, well, I already knew it, that I'm fishing with way too light a gear. But doing what I'm doing, I really need to be versatile. Hello everyone, it is 8.20 and just got off work, got my to-go food and we're going to go try to catch some fish tonight. Uh okay, I am... Uh at Sh the Sugar Creek here in Charlotte and uh, my nice co-workers uh, let me have the rental car uh, tonight so I'm gonna go try to catch some fish and I'm here at the creek because I'm interested to see if there's any br uh, brim or bluegill that's what I think uh, will be working the best for the big ones. So uh, I'm trying to trying to find them uh, a spot down to the river, but I am not finding a good route. These bushes, I don't even know what they are, but well, shoot, here's a good spot right here. We'll just walk right over to it, huh? Check it out. So. <laughs> I'm looking for little fish right now so that I can get a spot on where to get bait. My hotel's right down the street, so this works out perfect. Uh, oh, there's fish. I see fish down there already. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. How does a person get down there? I'm not sure. You just gotta trod your way through it, I guess. Don't really wanna do that. I've been bit by a rattlesnake before and <laughs> it was not fun. Well, I saw that coming. Uh, it's private property, they don't even let you they don't even let you fish off the uh, off the rocks, so <sighs> we're gonna. I'm gonna type in a marina. I'm facing another problem. Um, I saw a marina there. You just go over the bridge and you're right at it. But over there, South Carolina, and I didn't bring. I didn't bring my. Or I didn't purchase a South Carolina license, I purchased a North Carolina license. So I'm limited to North Carolina. Um, so I'm gonna type in my phone here and see if there's a marina near. Uh, I'll get back with you. All right, just leaving the hotel. It's 8.45. Um, in a hurry because I want to get over to this creek real quick and see if I can uh, catch some bait. Hopefully I can catch some bait so that next time I go out I'll have some real good fresh big bait.
I want big bait. Big bait catches big fish. Ooh, that looked like a bad spider right there. Whew. Scary. Well, I just got it out here. Just got a line in the water. Only one. Um, and instantly I'm getting fish bites. I don't know what they are, but uh, I'm, I'm really happy about this because I know now that I can get my bait here. I don't, I got, I have a, probably a too big of a hook tied on for these little fish. So uh, now that I'm getting little fish bites, I'm gonna switch it up to a smaller hook and really get after it. I'm gonna try to catch, you know, five or so uh, to secure bait for tomorrow. Ooh, missed him. Dude, lots of fish bites. This is great. This is what I was hoping for. Find a little spot right close to the hotel that I can, I can get my bait at for the trip. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping to get a big one. I, I'm in the area for big cats, blues, channels, and flatheads. And a few very nice people here gave me a little bit of info. And so I'm, I'm gonna put it to the test Yesterday was a complete bust, but I did find out that I don't want to go to those four spots. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna, ah man, little fish bites. We're gonna try, uh, we're gonna try a new spot next time. All right, so this is what I'm after right here. This is what I call bait. The locals here told me that the catfish like smaller bluegill and uh, they even like them cut up. All right guys, so uh, it's been an adventure uh, between catching bait and just all, this, all the stuff that goes along with fishing a new spot. This is what I'm using. I have a one ounce weight and then I've got a, uh, like a, I don't know, one aught hook or so. Uh, probably not the way the locals do it, but uh, it's a way that I've caught fish before. So I'm gonna go with a small bluegill, also known as brim. Uh, and we're gonna, I'm gonna chop his tail a little bit. I don't know what fish doesn't like an easy meal. I'm also gonna re remove one of the pectoral fins. And, and that is so that he pretty much just swims circles down there. And then to hook him, I'm gonna go ahead and hook him on the same side as what I, as where I cut the fin off at. Sorry, I got my camera all down, so. That's the setup that I'm using right there. That pectoral fin's gone. And uh, we're gonna stick it in the water, see how it looks. Oh yeah, looks pretty darn good. Give it a huge, as big of a cast out there as I can. Let it sink to the bottom. I'm gonna loosen up my drag a little bit because with this, uh, we're using a bigger bait, so it's going to take a little bit longer for the uh, 
fish to get it down. I don't know. I mean, I've, I haven't, I haven't, I've fished with big bait for different species of fish, and that's what I've found has worked. But uh, I'm not sure with these catfish. They may take it right away and be done with it. I am gonna tighten up my line a little bit so that it keeps my bluegill up off the bottom. And that's it. We're fishing. All right. Almost all set up out here. I have my poles in and I also have uh, my light set up. I have one more light to get out. Um, come on fish. Let's start it off quick, please. All right. So I was sitting here wondering to myself, I wonder how many fishing poles you can have in this state. So I looked it up really quick and uh, it looks like there's not a limit on it that uh, crappie fishermen out here line their deck with fishing poles. They call it spider rigging. So I'm going to I'm going to throw another pole out there and I'm going to put chicken liver and night crawlers on it and see if maybe we can get even some small, smaller ones to bite. So I just want to make mention that every state is different on their rules and sometimes it even can be to uh, a certain river or a certain lake. So you got to make sure that you look at your regulations before you uh, do certain things and that just helps ensure that you don't get in trouble nobody wants to get in trouble while they're out fishing oh my gosh the bugs are so thick right now they're flying in my nose flying in my ears oh there's one in my ear golly it doesn't doesn't help that I have a headlamp strapped to my head All right this is awesome just got my last light set up Put it up in the tree up there. Got it shining down on the poles. This is uh, more light than I could ask for. So I'm glad I went and bought some more flashlights and camp lights. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Come on, 20 pounder. I'm uncertain about the about this spot, but it certainly does feel fishy. You know, uh, most of the time when I see a whole bunch of bluegill, they're hanging around marinas, and uh, I'm right by a whole bunch of boat docks. So hopefully the bluegill are around, and hopefully the bluegill, or hopefully uh, the catfish come to the bluegill. Here we go, fish on fish on. Please don't get off. I got one. Oh, don't fall over. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. What do we have? Jumping? Oh, nice. We got a... Looks like a channel catfish. This is on uh, night crawler and liver, and I don't think it's a cat or a channel cat. Sure as heck isn't. Got a blue catfish. Small mouth and no real dots on it oh. oh thank you i was seriously about ready to wrap it up for the night whoa 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 look out bud Um, hook 
your night crawler again. Hook your liver again. Hook your night crawler. <laughs> hook your liver again. And hook your night crawler. And what you end up with is just a big old glob. <laughs> it works. I'm getting bites on a live cat or on a live bluegill. This is a bite on live bluegill right here, guys. This is what I'm out here for. Please keep hitting it, bud. Golly! Had my tension down so Got him though. I got him though. Ooh, this is a decent fish. Live bluegill. Live bluegill here. Oh man, I am excited. I am so pumped right now. Oh my gosh, he just got off! Dang it! All right, it's like 11.30. Uh, I just lost a fish, a big one, on live bluegill. Uh, had to be like, I don't know, at least 10 pounds. I'm, I, I can't even remember the last time I have been that frustrated on losing a fish. So I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> for getting so frustrated, but. That was what I, that's what I'm out here for. That was exactly what I'm out here for and it got off. Well, I need to try not to be so upset and so hard on myself because you can look at it that, yeah, you lost a big fish, but you can also look at it like, hey, I'm doing something right. So, given the opportunity to come out and do it again, you kind of know what you need to be doing. Uh, I feel a lot more confident in using big bluegills for bait. And uh, I feel confident in this spot other than the fact that I snag up constantly. One more bite, please. I gotta get going. I gotta wake up early. Well, this is cool. When I was picking up some trash, I found a lure. Right on. Well, uh, it was a fun night. Fishing a place I've never fished before. Catching fish, losing fish. Oh, it was fun. Hopefully I can get off a little earlier tomorrow and get out here a little bit earlier. All right, so what I'm doing here is fishing for my bait. Trying to catch a few, few bluegills to go use them to catch bigger fish. Um, this is the setup that I'm using. I just have a little weight to get me down and then just a little jig head tied on. I don't really have all the right gear out here, but this has been the best way I've found so far to catch them. Um, I'm probably going to catch about 10 of them. I don't want to catch too many because uh, you get too many fish in the bucket and they die with or without air. 
So I don't have any air, which means they're going to die even faster. There's one. Little bluegill. Perfect size. That's one thing that I couldn't ask for, or I couldn't ask any more of, and that is having a creek right by the hotel. I mean, I'm within walking distance. So it makes it easy to come down here, grab some bait. I saw this creek when I first got here and the locals had told me pretty much any creek around the area has bluegill in it. First things first is I need to go down to this creek right down here and I got to pick up my bait bucket and then uh, we're going to the boat club. Um, you know the bridge that's that way? It's like Boyd Bridge or something? Uh, yes, I think, let me pull up a map and I'll show you exactly where I need to go. It, uh, I need to go down to this creek right here. Yep. Thank you. Please don't be dead. If they're dead, I might just have him take me right back to the hotel. Okay, wow, well, we had a little, little guy, something came here and freaking ate him. That's awesome. Please still be some in here. Holy cow, no freaking way. Dude, the, the, whatever, oh my gosh. Look at this. We got a water trail here. <laughs> uh, I saw raccoon tracks before I left. Before I left these fish. Oh, I got one alive. <laughs> I got one out of a lot that's alive. Oh, I knew I should have brought a bag with me. Dude, why, why did he have to go and eat all the faces off of him? Why couldn't he just, like, have one and be done? That is just... It's... It's funny. <laughs> He's, uh, you just gotta laugh about that, I guess. <laughs> I'm, I'm so angry right now, but at the same time, it's, it's funny. It is hilarious. I'm going to dump these worms out, feed the fish, and I'm going to package up all of my dead ones. I can't believe you left one. What a, what a nice guy. <laughs> well, that raccoon's, he ate pretty good tonight. <laughs> Cracks me up. Got security checking me out. Like, what the hell are you doing? That's so funny. Of course they did. All right, just trying to get set up out here at Lake Wiley. And I haven't had any bites yet, so you haven't missed anything. I've been out here for, I don't know, 10, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, just getting my lights set now. I can't believe the coons got my bait. I have one live bluegill. Oh, man, I need to catch a second wind here. I'm freaking whooped. 
I called my cab driver, so that should probably make the fish start hitting. It's about time to load up a five gallon bucket full of trash. It won't take long in here. There's just, I could probably fill a five gallon bucket in about a 20 by 20 square foot area. <laughs> Wish I could have got what I was after, but there's still time. I have about 20 25 minutes until the cabbie shows up, so something may happen. Well, it just started raining pretty good. I picked up this area right here and by no means is it good. But it's definitely better than what I left it. And on the inside, that makes me feel good. Got picked up. Live bluegill just got picked up. I'm going to let him run a little bit with it. Very gently, I'm going to try to take my pole out. I'm going to feed him line. Get yourself enough line out. Don't get excited, Joey. Don't get too excited. Tighten up my drag. And rip him. I got him. Fish on. Fish on live bluegill. Oh my gosh! Ugh! He came off. All right, well, a few days out here and Definitely didn't catch the fish that I wanted to, but I I hooked into him. <laughs> Couldn't bring him in. My frustration is it's at a max right now. Um, but something something is gonna come out of it. Either it's a learning lesson or uh, I, I don't even know. I don't know how anything good can come out of this, but it's, it's fishing. It's the way it goes. Hey, yeah, I I appreciate yeah, uh, you you really you really lightened my mood and yeah, made me feel a lot they better. Don't give up, they don't give up. Um, I tried to make that video. They will come on big fish, you'll make a video, and today will be a his to that one. This trip will be a history. It, it's all, gone. yep, you're exactly right. Yep. Like you were saying, learning experience, yeah. gotta take it all in. Yeah.